131. So here we are, we're still gonna compose functions, but we don't have a formula to plug into. I don't have a table of data. This is gonna be our graphical approach. All right, so let's see how we're doing. I want f of g of one. So let me head over here and let's see if we can find f of g of one. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is find g of one. So if I'm looking for g of one, that means my x coordinate is one. And I'm hopping onto this parabola because that's the g function, right? I, I don't want this one just yet. So I want g of one, which I'm just gonna assume hits at this nice point of three. So this looks like it's at one, three. All right, so this will turn into f of three. Now three is my new input and I need to head over to this graph because I'm, I'm asked on the f function. So let's go over to x equaling three and what is that function value? One, two, three, four, five. It looks like this is the ordered pair three, six. So when I plug three into f, I get a six back out like so. So ultimately here, we would have f of g of one was equal to six. All right, let's try it here. Now we want, the, we're being asked for g of f of four. Okay, so I want f of four. And again, oh, before I do this, I, I, would, I would suggest pause it and try and get this number before I get it. And then just unpause the video and see if you got it correct. All right, I want f of four. If I want f of four, I'm gonna go out onto the f graph, go four units to the right, because I want my x value to be four. And let's see what y value we had. One, two, three, four. I think this is about five. So I'm gonna put four, five. So this will ultimately be g of five. My new input is five. So let's go over to the g graph. There's five, one, two. Again, it looks like it's at about five, three. So g of five would be three. And that's, that's it, that's my answer. So I, I figured out that g of f of four is equal to three, okay? So with these first, or these examples three, four, and five, we look, we've looked at composing functions but we've looked at them analytically, numerically, and graphically. And I've been sidestepping the whole domain conversation, and I said it would show up in later examples, and we're at the later examples. So in examples six and seven, I'll try and unpack all the domain issues that might pop up when you begin composing functions. All right, I'll see you in a bit, bye.